what's going on guys, it's Jordan here and I'm back with another video. Today we have this week's Heat or Yeet, where we're going to talk about this week's sneaker releases, if they're Heat or they're Yeet. So uh, let's get into it. So getting into the first pair, what will I start with? I'm going to start off with these. So we have a new pair of the Nike Air Max 720 releasing. For the normal retail price for two seven or seven twenties of one eighty, the all gray colorway. Um not too bad. Really simple colorway. Really simple colorway, really clean. And um probably won't be picking these up just because I do like some of the more louder and out there colorways of the seven twenty. Next pair, not really not really feeling these too much. The emotionally unavailable X Nike Air Force One High. Not a big fan of them. Uh, the all red looks like um, it's really hard to tell from pictures, but then it has like that carpet material pink on the swoosh with the off white midsole and the and the strap on the top, and the laces are really weird with the zipper going down the middle. Not really, not really a fan of these at all. Um, so mostly unavailable Air Force Ones. Easy pass. Next up, now, I like these shoes, but I literally cannot buy them. And the Nike Kyrie 5 Duke. Obviously, Kyrie went to Duke. These Kyrie 5s are so fire, but I'm a North Carolina fan, so... I'm a North Carolina fan, so, um... North Carolina kind of beat Duke twice this season. Um, and yeah, you can say, oh, they didn't have Zion. You're not wrong, but we still won. Like, we didn't cheat. Zion got injured. It's not our fault. Anyway, Kyrie 5 Dukes, Kyrie 5 Duke, um, really fire. I just like the way they look, but being a North Carolina fan, can't do that. Just can't. Switching over to the Jordan side of things. The first pair is the Air Jordan 1 noise canceling. Retailing for 110 so these um, are at the The Nike flagship store in New York City, so pretty much this is the pair that you would buy there customize and And that so do whatever you want with them But now they're releasing them to the public just all white and I'm assuming you could like dip dye them or Customize them on your own if that's the case. This is something I'd be really interested in Custom my, cu excuse me, customizing my own pair of Jordan ones. I mean, you can't really see them, but I have like six or seven pairs of Jordan ones in the back, and I mean noise canceling. They're cool, and I mean um, being able to customize them. And I watch videos on customizing them at at the flagship store in New York City. So I definitely want to customize shoes at the flagship store in New York City, uh, maybe this year. Um, but noise canceling Air Jordan ones, just all white Jordan ones that are customizable. I'm assuming, really clean in my opinion. There are other pairs of noise canceling shoes, but the Jordan one is the most um, like unique to me because they're Jordan ones. Next up, um, more of that futuristic weird stuff from Jordan brand, the Apex Utility. I watched a review on these by Bullet RC. They actually look really clean, like in in person, like uh, compared to pictures. It's really cool that they have like the Flynet Air Jordan One inside the shoe with the translucent upper. Retailing for two hundred though. Um, I do like the aesthetic of the sneaker, but I don't think I'd really wear them too often. And for two hundred, easy pass, but still a clean and unique concept by Jordan Brand. Next up, releasing on the 15th, the Aaliyah May Air Jordan 6. Really clean in my opinion. Now, I don't know if these are... I don't know if these are a um, women's only release or if they're going to be for men as well. It doesn't say. But the Aaliyah May Air Jordan 6, the all like pink upper with like the infrared pink hits on the back of the heel and on the midsole and the Jordan Jumpman on the tongue 
Next up, the Air Jordan 1 High OG Phantom. I wasn't a big fan of these when they first, um, when first pictures first popped up, but as they get closer and closer to re release date, I'm really starting to like them. It just looks cool just with the red stitching, but I saw something on Instagram where the stitching could like mess up and make the shoe not look good, like if the stitching isn't perfect. So that's like my one main concern if I were to go for these, but still clean, all white, a little bit of red with the red stitching unique and they do remind me a lot of these guys right here same color concept anyway like just instead of the swoosh being red it's white with the red stitching on the outside but very similar in colors obviously red and white but white red black whatever on Jordan ones always works the OG Phantom Jordan ones not a bad not a bad colorway just I'd I want to see them in person to decide if I really want them or not, but still clean. Next up, releasing on Saturday the 16th, three pairs of Yeezy 350 V2s. The first pair is the clay. Second pair is the true form. Third pair is the hyperspace. Now, these three shoe, the three pairs of Yeezys will be releasing by region. So, clay, the clays release in North America, South America. True Form releases in Europe and, and Africa. And Hyperspace releases in Asia and Australia. I believe I got that right. I'm trying to like rank them in my head real quick, but I can't. Like, the clays are definitely my least favorite. But the true form in the hyperspace, I just really like the way the true form looks just because I guess the the boost is actually orange with the with the with the translucent outsole so you can see the boost through it. I think I could be wrong, but um so the true form and the hyperspace I definitely definitely I like those more than the clay, but the clay are still cool and um obviously true form and the hyperspace are gonna be harder to get because I live in the United States. But I feel like they're, just because of that, it's going to make them a lot more expensive. Well, not, like, not retail. Retail is still going to be normal, but for resale value, I think it's going to make them more expensive in, in resale. But I still think all three pairs are unique, just the clay pair is my least favorite. Last up, probably my favorite release of the week, releasing again on Saturday, the Nike Air Max 90 Mars Landings. So we already had the moon landings, those are going for like a grand on SockX or roughly a grand, 800, something like that. The Mars landing, really fire, I'm actually a really big fan of Air Max 90s, I've only had a few pairs in the past, but I just like the way the shoe looks and the comfort and just the, the moon landings were like a classic Air Max model and obviously Air Max month, even though it's technically Air Max day, but Air Max month is here. And this is the pair that's pretty much, other than the 720s, that's kicking off Air Max month. In my opinion, anyway, like they had, like, at the mall, they had, like, the Air Max day pack. Those were cool, but to go to those to the Mars Landing and Air Max 90s, like, huge difference. But, and the upper is also all 3M. Just crazy, and they will be releasing men's preschool. And for 160 and they'll probably be reselling for... Not as much as the moon landings, but definitely in that five to six hundred price range, maybe more. But uh, super clean in my opinion. Will I be going for them? Of course. Will I get them? Probably not. But anyway, guys, hope you guys all enjoyed. Make sure to check out my Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, gaming channel. Everything will be in the description below. And if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you aren't already. Comment down below what you are going after this week. And I will see you guys all in my next video. That's it. Peace. Beep. <laughs>